It has been almost 28 years since the first Power Rangers movie was released in 1995 and 2017 was the last movie. Both movies were about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers story, so we can make a comparison and know why one was so successful and the other was a flop. I know many fans are going to say that the last Power Rangers movie was not a failure because they liked it, but this is not based on taste, but on transcendence. We can see that the 1995 movie was so impactful that after 28 years we are still talking about it and analyzing all the good things it had. However, the 2017 movie had plans to make a sequel and the box office failure was so big that they had to cancel the whole thing. In addition to that, that movie has many mistakes and details that make the movie not iconic. The opportunity the producers had at that time was very big as they had all the necessary tools to make a historical movie, but they ruined everything. If you liked the 2017 movie, then that's fine, but that's not the issue here, the issue is that movie didn't mark the lives of fans like the 1995 movie and let's find out the reason why. Let's start with the story, which in the 95 movie was tied with the TV series since they used the same rangers and villains, but they still created a new and more powerful villain. Besides the fact that the rangers had to look for a new power and their leader Zordon almost died. In the 2017 movie we can see that they tried to change the story using the same characters. Basically they used characters that already had a story and created a different story for them. By this I don't mean that the story they created in this movie is not good, the story would have been good if it was something created with other characters. All of us Power Rangers fans already know who Zordon is, we know who Rita is, we know how the Power Rangers were created, so, why make a different origin story? If they had changed the characters, then the story would have been fine and maybe everything would have worked. Within this new story we have, Rita, who in the series is an evil witch with thousands of years of life and who wants to destroy Zordon, but in the new movie she is a sexy green ranger who can melt gold. In the first movie they used Rita and even though this movie is not canon, they still used the same version of Rita. This was what we fans were hoping for, not that they would change what we already know. Let's put it in perspective with other stories, Imagine you change Iron Man, everyone already knows the story of this character. Imagine if they made a new Marvel movie, but now Iron Man is Plastic Man, a man who was very poor and despite being smart he could only create a plastic suit because he didn't have that much money to create a metal one. This is basically what they did with Rita, instead of continuing with the original story, they just created a different story for no reason. This same thing also happened with the history of the Rangers, which were young rebels, and this does not represent the Power Rangers. For many years the Rangers have stood out for being good people and that is why they are chosen to be Power Rangers. This is why the way these Rangers were chosen was terrible as it just happened because they found the Power Coins and that's it. These rangers did not earn their place as rangers, they just happened to be in the right place, and they were doing illegal things. Let's talk about the costumes, which in the 95 movie had the same style as the original rangers, even the helmets were almost the same. The suits were made of a different material and had an improved design, but they were still very similar to the original series. These suits for me were some of the best in the entire history of the franchise as they looked strong and powerful, although for the actors it was difficult to have them on as they were very heavy. 
In the 2017 movie the costumes didn't look like Power Rangers, they looked like Star Wars costumes. You can watch all the seasons of the Power Rangers series and all the costumes have a specific style. Any one of us can see a ranger from some season that we may not have seen, but we can still recognize that character as a ranger. However, with the costumes in this movie the characters don't look like rangers, they look like beings from another planet and that Darth Vader is chasing them. Let's talk about the Zords, which are very important in this Power Rangers universe, and this has been a very important detail in both movies. In the 95 movie we got to see new Zords, which we had the opportunity to see them fight separately and then unite in the Megazord. We understand that the CGI of these Zords was terrible, but it was 1995 and only a few movies could create good computer special effects. The important thing about these Zords is that we could understand the animals they represented even though we knew they were still machines. In the 2017 movie we could barely understand what animal each sword represented and even though the CGI in this movie was pretty good, still, the design of the Zords was terrible. The only Zord you could understand well was the T-Rex and the Megazord which was also well done. In conclusion, the 95 movie is still the best Power Rangers movie so far and it's going to be very hard to take the throne away from it as it has a lot of great details. This movie is very connected to the TV series and that makes us feel that this is indeed a Power Rangers movie. The 2017 movie could have been a good movie if it was a regular action movie. Imagine if instead of being a Power Rangers movie, it would have been something like, The Power of the Galaxy, and it tells the story of a great power from space that got trapped on Earth and five people find it and have to defeat a villainess. But being a Power Rangers movie then none of that worked since they changed everything and the story stopped being Power Rangers and became something different. If they were to make another Power Rangers movie someday, we don't ask that they be the same actors, they don't even have to use the same characters, they can create new characters, but we ask that they stay in the same line of style. We ask that the characters do look like Power Rangers in all things, in the costumes, in the Zords, in their personality and that they don't change a story that already exists. If you would like to see a new movie, like this video, and subscribe for more Power Rangers movies.